I'm wondering something. I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you said. That way they'll mutiny and I shall become the group leader. <laughs> Hey, that's a pretty good policy. <laughs> Where exactly is lunch, anyway? Seriously, though, I'm only curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions, and I just want to see if yours are any different. Just try and stop me. Let's see, where should I begin? How about Ogren? You must have an opinion on the smell, at the very least. Well, let's just say that I'm not so surprised he's not married any longer. How he lifts his sword is a bit of a mystery. Though I suppose the point is that he does lift it. And so long as we can point him in the right direction, he charges too. He has gusto, I'll give him that. What about Sten? The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. And he's so quiet for someone so big. Yet he doesn't seem quite so bad as the Chantry tells us. According to them, his philosophy is vile and evil. Yet he seems so reasonable. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? Yet he seems otherwise honorable and even wise. I don't get it. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? Or do you really believe in her vision? That's one way to put it. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so... so sad. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. Yes, I know. Still, I feel badly for her. Morrigan. Do you trust her? Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Well, aside from the fact that she's a complete and utter bitch, no, I don't like her at all. Why, do you? That's the most sensible thing I've heard out of you yet. Just remember that she's dangerous too, and evil, and mean. Enough. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we? Something you need, my dear? Of course. I didn't know them for very long, but I guess it was longer than you. You never met them all, did you? They were quite a group. Actually, they felt like an extended family, since we were all cut off from our former lives. We also laughed more than you'd think. There was this one time... Well, you probably don't want to hear stories about men you didn't know. Not as Grey Wardens. Not while I was there. I saw pictures of some, though none of them were as pretty as you are. There was one Grey Warden who came all the way from the Anderfels. What was his name? Gregor... He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard you've ever seen. And the man could drink. He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Finally, we all made a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. Sometimes, we were kin of a sort. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew... Well, anyhow. It doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Anyhow, we never did find out. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time the rest of us were passed out. I'm told that Duncan walked in later on and saw us all passed out from one end of the hall to the other and Gregor still drinking. <laughs> Duncan laughed until he nearly... until... Yeah. 
Yes, I... I suppose so. I thought I was done with this, but... It just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing at all. There's no body, not even a token of his that I could... take with me. That must sound really stupid to you. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Well, there's no use in moaning about it, is there? He's gone. Let's just go. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim. And may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you played the nursemaid to. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight! With your selfish ambitions to the throne! Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. 
I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. And conspires with a blood mage to poison me. It is a bitter dose to taste. The Chantry speaks truly about the corruption of power. If a man like Loghain could go and do this, I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best. For Elden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denon is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. You do not want Loghain ruling Ferelden, and if Nora can speak at the land's meet, her voice would sway many nobles. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I fear if this is a trap, we are already caught in it. They can kill Anora whether or not we act, and blame her death on us. Few would believe our word over Loghain's. We can only defend ourselves with the Queen in hand. I have some uniforms. I'll how I have so many new guards every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants and friends. We must slip in and out with my Queen before anyone is the wiser. 
I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. The estate is in poor repair. The new Al, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. I can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. Hurry! My lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. These two know who is allowed to come and go. They will not be fooled. But the uniform should work on most of those inside. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Oh, you must come! I saw something! A better fountain! I think it was a dark spawn! Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please, get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly! Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. She is in the guest room of the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. The Grey Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. We must get her out of there. Don't panic, Erlina. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at house side. Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Town How will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. What? Who goes there? I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden for Morlay. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. I'm Riordan, senior warden of Jada. But born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Kaelin as to the outcome at Ostagar. The King had invited all the Wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. Yes, these are my records. 
The names of the dead I could recognize at Astagar. What I could find of Duncan's own recruitment records. Copies of the joining ritual I rescued from our Denerim vault. Those should never be seen by any outside eyes, but I trust in their encryption. Would that I could, for Ferelden sorely needs them. But for the joining to work, the recruit needs not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a drop of blood preserved from an archdemon. Ferelden's supply should have been in the vault, but it was gone. I can only imagine someone took it out and Loghain either confiscated or destroyed it. As you know, the joining's chance of success is slim anyway. Loghain has done far worse to the Wardens than cut us off from recruiting. And from the rumors flying through Denerim, removing him from the throne is already your plan, no? I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later, after I find a good physician. And good luck, sister. Who goes? You think you're clever, do you? Anybody tries to come in here without Howe's say-so, we get to do what we like with them. I think we finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? You move in August company, stranger. I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banon. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Then I have no question about why you would come, Warden. For it is your men who have suffered the most here. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And, I assume, the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. One soldier returning from Ostagar was my wet nurse's son. We have been friends since birth. He told me his unit was ordered to turn their backs on Kaelin at Ostagar, before the Darkspawn overwhelmed him. The next day he disappeared. When I went to search for him, I accepted a drink from a stranger and ended up here. Then there is a Landsmeet after all. How said the Isle of Rickliffe was dead and the Landsmeet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please. I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. What month is it? Are you some enemy of Arl Urians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Dead. Then who's ruling? His son, Vaughn, he struck me down and I woke up here. People were so angry, they, they were thinking of petitioning the king. There have been many changes since they caught me. I need to find out what happened. I need to get home or flee the city. I, I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. Well, look here. Bryce Kooslin's little spitfire, all grown up and still playing the man. I thought Logan made it clear that your pathetic family is gone and forgotten. Your parents died on their knees. Your brother's corpse rots in Ostagar, and his brat was burned on a scrap heap along with his Antiban whore of a wife. And what's left? A fool husk of a daughter likely to end her days under a rock in the deep roads. Even the wardens are gone. You're the last of nothing. This is pointless. 
you've lost. There it is, right there. That damned look in the eye that marked every Kooslin success that held me back. It would appear that you have made something of yourself after all. Your father would be proud. I, on the other hand, want you dead more than ever. Make a spit on you. I deserved more. Hmm. Who's that? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. I'm Vaughn Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim, it's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. Of course. Anything. Just let me out. I swear you won't regret this. Andraste. Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stammer. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? I... I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You... aren't one of the Tern's men? He sounds like he's in Lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him, but the Ten's men took him from me and brought me here. Yes, he destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. Give this ring to my sister, Alstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. My thanks. Thank you. I'll trust you to lead us safely out. If Howe's people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender and you may be shown mercy. Bring them down! Loghain wants the Warden, dead or alive. Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. Poor Oswin obviously didn't recognize you. He described you in great detail, but never mentioned you were a Kuzland. I owe you his life. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish how still live that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. 
but Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I'm taking my supper today with Van Reginelder of the White River Benorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. May I help you? This is Ermenrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. You're Bryce Kuzlan's youngest, are you not? I thought I recognized you. Take this. It's been in my family for generations. Let it be a sign of the friendship between High Ever and Waking Sea. Let me know if you want some of my bowmen when you take back your Tairnir as well. Maker's breath! It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Calthrian's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps it will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Nora, but... You could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Kaelin, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close, all the same.
This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the